Secret Millionaire begins by showing a party held at the house of an old man named Patton. He is the owner of the Patton Company, which is wealthy. His son, Sean Patton, attended the party with his best friend, Jarrett. Sean is the sole heir of all his father's fortune. At the party, Jarrett told Sean that three beautiful women had been watching him for a long time. Jarrett challenged him to meet the women because he was a shy man. As Sean came towards them, one of the women named Jess teased him. Then Jess accidentally spilled a drink on his coat. He immediately went to his room to change clothes. After he left, the three women then left Jarrett alone. Meanwhile, outside the party building, several teenagers were pasting a poster on the car of the party's invited guests. They did this as an act of rejection against a patent company. The company wants to turn the city's playground into a residential area. The teens were led by a woman named Alice. When Sean was in his room trying to swing his golf club, suddenly, his father came in to meet him. His father said he wanted to marry Sean to Jess, the daughter of his father's wealthy colleague. But Sean turned it down because he didn't think Jess was a good woman. Hearing this, his father was disappointed and told Sean to find a job in a week. If he cannot find a job within one week, he must want to work in his father's company. Because of this time, Sean, who had been given capital by his father, always failed to start a new business. While outside the building, Alice and her friends still stuck posters on the invited guests' cars. But they stopped when they wanted to put a poster on Patton's car because two men were chatting and watching the parking lot guarding the building. But when Alice still wanted to try to put a poster on Patton's car, she was caught by the guards of the building. She immediately ran away from the place. Meanwhile, her friends ran away and the guards immediately chased after them. Alice hides beside a black Porsche, which is Sean's car. Suddenly Sean came towards his car. Alice was surprised by his arrival. She thought that he was a rich man, but he denied it. He said he was a parking attendant. Alice, who did not know that Sean was the son of the owner of Peyton, immediately believed his words. When the guards saw Alice and chased after her, Sean stopped them. After he managed to trick the guards, he immediately ran with Alice. After they had run far enough, they stopped. At that time, Sean pretended to say he supported Alice, who objected to Peyton's company policies. Then the two of them got acquainted. She said that she was an employee in a food truck. Seeing her being so independent, Sean felt drawn to her. Sean said he wanted to come with Alice in the truck and sell food. Then they both got into the truck, and she drove it. They both stopped at a park owned by Sean's family. But he just kept quiet and didn't want to tell her. Sean tries to make Alice toast to impress her. She immediately offers him to work selling toast with her because her boss needs a cooking chef. Sean, who was looking for a job, immediately accepted the offer. On the other hand, Sean's father told Jess that she had to be patient with Sean because it wasn't easy to melt his heart. Jess, who loved him very much, obeyed and was patient. Even though the matchmaking was carried out by Patton for business purposes only. After they finished selling, Alice took Sean home. But he didn't want to show his house and got off at a park. Because he doesn't want her to know that his house is very luxurious. After the truck pulled away, he went home by taxi to his house. Arriving at the house, Sean tells Jared that he has found a good woman. He said that he was amazed by Alice's simplicity, who was willing to accept him as a simple man. Because all this time, other women only love him because of his wealth. Sean said that he now works in a food truck. Jared, who heard this, disagreed. Because no matter the circumstances, Patton will still ask Sean to work for his company. But he still tries to be independent by running his new job. Elsewhere, Alice listens to a story from her best friend, Bet. She has two boyfriends. She said that Alice should not be awkward when it comes to dealing with a man to find a boyfriend. For whatever reason, everyone needs to have a partner. Then Alice told her how she met Sean. The next day Alice was late to go to the food truck location. Fortunately, there is a woman who owns the business named Nia to replace her job. She told Alice that she really liked Sean's performance. Well, come on, sous chef. The lunch rush is gonna start soon, right? Come on, get up here. Okay. On his first day on the job, Sean brings his fancy cookware. He said he got all that from his cooking school as a gift. When many customers were queuing up, he and Alice could handle it thanks to their cohesiveness. Mademoiselle. 68! After their work was done, Alice didn't go straight home. She wants to distribute posters of a petition against the patent company. Sean went with her to help her. Moments later, they arrived at the right place to spread the petition. They split up to get more people's signatures. Suddenly Jess, who had just come out of her building, saw Sean from a distance. She immediately came over and asked him out on a date. Luckily, he managed to hide the petition when Jess arrived. He refuses her offer and chooses to help Alice. After they finished distributing the petition, Alice took Sean to the park. She said that she would feel very sad if the garden was demolished. Because the first person who built this park dedicated it to the residents. 
When Sean reads the person's name on a rock, it turns out to be his surname. After they both finished walking around, Sean said goodbye then going home by taxi. When Sean got home, his father sat on the sofa and read the newspaper. He sat with his father and said he had worked as a chef. When Sean asked his father why he would turn the park into housing. But his father did not answer. He immediately switched the conversation and received a phone call. After returning from the park, Alice immediately went to Beth's place, who was holding a poetry reading program one by one, to express her heart. After the event, Beth immediately chatted with her first boyfriend, Pascal. But suddenly, her second boyfriend named Gideon came to see her with a bouquet of flowers. Pascal, who saw this, immediately said goodbye and left them. Gideon continued his conversation with her, ignoring Pascal. Sean, who had arrived at the house, immediately went to Jared to tell him about his father's problems. Because his father still wants to evict the city park, even though the park was built by his grandfather. He asked Jared for advice so he could approach Alice. Jared said he should play her favorite song while they were chatting or working. The next day Sean returned to work. But he was surprised by the presence of Patton in his food truck. Patton asked what he was doing here, but they talked as if they didn't know each other. Alice, who knew about Patton's presence, invited him to debate the issue of eviction of the park. Sean intervened and asked his father to get out of here as soon as many customers were already queuing up. Then Patton left the food truck. After they finished work, Nia suddenly came and got angry with Sean. Because he has given away free toast to charity. She doesn't want to do charity. She wants to earn money from selling the toast. He replied that if Nia objected, she could cut his salary next month. Then Alice invited him to dinner because she was amazed by his generosity. He accepted it and immediately rushed home. Arriving home, Sean asks Jared to find him an old car to come to dinner with Alice. Then Patton came out of the house to meet him and talk to him, but Sean refused. Patton mocked him by giving him money to buy gas for his car. He looked sharply at his father. Sean immediately went to pick up Alice at her house. He saw that she was not embarrassed when he picked her up in an old car. Then they went to a restaurant. When they got there, Alice told Sean about her past being cheated on by a man. That man cheated on her best friend in college. Alice asked Sean to tell him about himself. He just told her that he had won a mini golf game and invited her to play mini golf in the cafe. As they played golf, Alice remembered that the petition was under 500 signatures. Because the petition requires 1,000 signatures of the city's citizens to win it. Sean continues to encourage her to fulfill the 1,000 signatures. The next day there was good news from Bet and Gideon. They managed to collect 700 signatures with the help of his friends. Hearing the good news, Alice immediately told Sean. She asks him to bake a pie to celebrate. When the pie is ready, Sean wants to say that he is the son of the owner of the patent company. Suddenly his father calls, so he doesn't tell her. Then he went home after the event was over. When he got home, Patton asked Sean to have dinner with him and Jess. At that time, Patton insulted his job as a chef in a food truck. Sean wasn't mad at that and didn't care. He replied that he was happy to be close to Alice. Patton discussed the issue of the petition, but he ignored it. He chose to leave them and went to the balcony. Then Jess came to see Sean ask what really happened. She offers a deal so Patton doesn't evict the park. Hearing this, he was intrigued and invited her to lunch the next day at the club. The next day Alice asks Nia why Sean didn't come to work today. Nia replied that he was sick, so he didn't come today. Alice, who was worried, asked her for his address. Suddenly Bet comes to meet Alice in the food truck. She said Patton unilaterally withdrew the petition and still wanted to evict it. Hearing this, Alice was annoyed and wanted to meet him. Bet tells her that Patton is usually at his close friend's fancy club. On the other hand, Sean met with Jess to discuss their deal. She said that now she didn't agree with this arrangement. So, she invites him to work together to cancel it. When Alice came to the place, she accidentally saw Sean was with Jess. Then Jess explained that she was only chatting as friends with him. At that moment, Sean told the truth that he was actually Patton's son. Hearing this, Alice was disappointed and left them. When Sean got home, he told Jared about the bad things that had happened to him today. Jared still encouraged him because his personality began to change for the better after being close to Alice. He tells Sean to try to contact Alice and give her an explanation because Jared believes that she loves him too. Then Sean immediately called her, but she wouldn't take his call. The next day Bet, who was in the library, was visited by Gideon to express his feelings, then they went on a date. On the other hand, Sean is angry with Patton because he has destroyed his wishes. Patton set him on everything from the park petitions to jobs to life partners. Then Sean took Patton to the park to see the stone with his grandfather's name. Then, Patton came to his senses and told him the park's history. So, his grandfather used to build a park because the land in the city was getting narrower. He wants his children and grandchildren to be able to play in the garden. 
Moreover, Patton said the reason for asking Sean to work at his company was because he wanted him to be by his side. Patton tells him that he approves of his relationship with Alice. Elsewhere, Alice, who came to the food truck, said to Nia that she was disappointed that this park would disappear. But suddenly, Jared came to see her and explain what had happened to Sean. He said that Sean didn't want to work for his father's company because he refused to evict the park. Jared said Sean had loved her all along. After Alice had listened to all of Jared's explanations, she immediately went to the park to meet Sean. After they met, she apologized to him for the misunderstanding. He replied that it was not a problem. He said that he would be the head of his father's company from now on, so the park was cancelled. After that, Sean began to express his feelings to Alice and asked her to be his girlfriend. She accepted it until their relationship was in a serious stage. The moral that can be learned from this movie is not to love someone because of their wealth. Sincerity will make love more meaningful.